Hello everybody, I'm Sadish from websitesdevelopments.com. Okay, so I like to show you guys a demo of what we're actually going to build. Okay, this is our validation form. Okay, and when I hit this submit button. You can see here we are getting all the errors in the talk and we are also getting errors here just above the fields okay and let me show you guys the front end of our validation you can see here i have an array here by name validation rules and the key here is exactly the name of the fields okay we have here like name gender age and if you look at the input fields here uh, you can see here the input field name is name then we have gender age email right so we just had to match with that and then uh, the value for these keys are actually array with set of rules okay and did you see this require once validation.php this is actually the validation class file which we'll be building okay and once we finish setting up all the rules for our validation fields uh, we just had to initialize the validation class and then activate them by calling this function under the validation class that is form validation okay uh, by giving this validation rules array which we declared here and another thing is once uh, the validation result is a success uh, we have a if condition here with this function okay and this is where we write the code in this if statement uh, about what we had to do further if the validation is a success and other than that did you see this function here uh, error error right so this is the function which gives us the errors here if we don't mention this function here uh, you you're not going to get this error here okay and another important thing i like to show you guys is uh do you see this same error function but this time i'm giving field name and display error equal to single okay this field name matches with the name of the field here and that is giving us these errors here these single errors okay and this display error I mentioned single right and if you uh, mention multiple you'll get all the errors uh, just like we are seeing here okay you can see a name got two errors required and minimum length should be two right and age got three errors uh, so we can control that in this area and other than that if I give some field name here and try to submit uh, you can see here uh, rest of the fields are still empty right so we have error and the value we entered here actually retains there if validation is an error okay if the validation is success there won't be any error uh, that's the whole idea let me show you guys so I give something like and this username here uh, first letter should be always integer okay i made something like that to happen so when we submit now uh, it's a success and you can see this message success message which we get from this if statement here okay validation result and you can also see here that there are no values we entered right uh, it just clears magically and when we do something like this with the error it's retaining here right and this is achieved by using another function let me show you guys you see this value here for field and I'm giving this form value and inside the form value I'm giving exactly the field name that matches here okay and this helps us to retain the value we entered in the field so all the trick is here in our validation.php class which we'll be building on the next part of this tutorial
we have really a lot to code here because you can see here we have like more than 319 lines of code so the next part we'll actually start building this validation.php class okay and guys uh, please subscribe to our channel and also like this video i'll see you guys in the next part thanks for your time